Sigil arrows won't work on this. <laughs> Possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we've done them. Kratos, I see some...
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife said? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets on every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. <laughs> Let's get that wheel turning. Let me know if I can help with that. Whoa. Ah, teamwork! Whoa. Oh, bugger! There's two of them. And an angry! Fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it.
trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Falky! Coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turns out to be, huh? Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, what's your nattering? 
snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cable. We gotta figure a way up there and clear a wall. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. He insists. We gotta have a post off. Ah, 
promising. Once more. Got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Again. Game's over. Come on through and get those cables. Right on up to the fort. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. You want some of this? Then come 
creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> why, Brock, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way, let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Sheesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. No. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? 
Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. No, oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. I speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. 
It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! I have to get creative up there. Let her pick out that net, or it'll be eyeballs. 
the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. Hey! All in all, Packer Trap! You ain't gonna land a single here! Just gonna embarrass yourself trying! For your next lesson, take note of that there, watch him a hoot. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. It's all about the proper angle with those traps. You want it straight on. I'm telling you, you're too far to decide. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. Good! Guess you get extra credit. Oscar, whenever you're ready. Ah, that's blocked. to ask of the both of you and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right 
way. Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These are great birds. Maybe those grim will take him down. Set up shot. see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Rock improve your gear before we go? <laughs> Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. 